Well, the reality is what it's called today is account-based marketing. And, and as I said in a previous video, it's a lens to target your highest value, most important accounts. You know, ABM has evolved because certain B2B sales cycles are more complex because typically they have high value sales um, amounts. Therefore, there's more people involved. Um, you know, everyone's heard the stat about between five and seven uh, buyers being involved in a typical decision. So in order to navigate that, in order to um, build trust and credibility with brands that are going to have, you're asking them to spend more money, then you have to get to know them better. And in order to get to know them better, it takes time and effort and uh, investment. So that's why it's account-based singular in its purest level. Um, what it's called today is ABM. There's obviously a movement to talk about account-based sales, account-based experience, account-based everything. And the reality is it's all of those. It's account-based, whatever it needs to be in order to communicate with the departments and the teams within a target account so that you've got that trust and credibility that, so that when they're ready to buy, you're the one they think of. The main point of differentiation between this and, say, um, demand generation is that the sales cycle links are typically more complex um, because the deal values are higher. So whatever it's called today is almost irrelevant. It's uh, a, a, method, a methodology for winning your highest value accounts, most important accounts.